Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tide 2 Bush Rescue. In the previous episode it was a little awkward. I don't know, I'm still feeling a little meh. I don't know how else to explain it, but anyway, we did uh, a boss fight and uh, now we're going to pick up some explosives and hightail them to somewhere. Ah, oh, Tide! These are my brand new experimental explosives. I need you to take them to the Min Min mining site. They're made from Explodarium and are extremely volatile. So handle them with care. Why is everyone so anxious for me to transport explosives these days? Because no one else is mad enough to do it. Fair enough. You'll have to hurry though. They have a very short shelf life before they become unstable and explode. So why are you just like holding on to them next to you? What the heck? I thought this was like a time thing. Uh, I know that like they give you way more than enough time to get there, but yeah, still the fact that they, they give you a time limit is very spooky. Um, and also where did Ty just put them? Did he stick them in his pants? Maybe? Possibly. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh, oh yeah, we have to check out the Bunyip guy and see if he uh, actually gave us the paw last time. I forget what happened there, but I feel like we bought that a few episodes ago and then just didn't get it. It might be a post-story thing though. They might not give us the extra HP until the story is done. And if that's the case, that's okay. We'll come back to it later on. But for now, we gotta worry about getting these explosives to the Min Min Mines. And I'm keeping it all in, and there's going to be no cuts because it's a mission, so therefore the time limit stuff is a part of the story. <laughs> Wait, where the heck am I going? Big Bang. Okay, we're going to the pink one. Okay, pink is to the north? Northwest? I'm just like, where do I go on this, this thing here? Okay, not that way. You want to go this way. <laughs> this is why it's good that we have the little mini map that has like the whole map, but um, also it can be a little bit confusing. Okay, we're gonna be turning right here. I tried to use square as a handbrake when it's X and not square. Look at that. Little handbrake action. Skirt, skirt. Oh yeah, we're drifting now, boys. <laughs> oh, this is wild. All right, um, so yeah, the entire place should be open up now. Very nice. We should be able to get to the remaining races too, which we do have to do. I mean, we'll probably actually end up doing one in this episode. I was gonna say some, but we're probably only gonna do one race because I can only handle so many races at once. And then turn right. We're not really cutting this one close at all. This is pretty good. And I believe we, once we get to this place, they, uh, the guy's just standing like right there waiting for us. They give you way more than enough time to get here. Ah! Can I just... There we go. Here you go, mate! Aha! Julius' new explosives. Just what we've been waiting for. And these ones didn't explode during delivery like his last batch. That was a rip snorter of an explosion, eh, mate? Ty, Julius is as mad as a cut snake. He's just started a new experiment and has run out of plutonium. I need you to nip on over to the Never Never and grab a fresh plutonium rod for him. What the heck? How did they get it to the top of that hill? in like three minutes you guys are wild um okay so we got a few things to do today i guess we should just start with the race since we're right here that way we don't have to worry about thinking about doing it later on we don't have to worry about thinking about doing it what 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 am i saying what am i on i don't know high on life baby high on life all right, a new race, Lava Falls. Ooh, this is a cool track. Very cool indeed. This one's probably gonna take a few tries. <laughs> I keep saying that just so I get it completed on the first time, but I actually mean it this time. It might take a few a few tries, especially if that's how I'm starting off by running into the wall. 
Oh boy. Okay. Kind of a shortcut. And then use the blaster ring. Oh, hey, we could use that to get out of the icy bit. That's cool. Also, a racing boss. Boss Cassie's in here? Oh, geez, please. Okay, it looks like we have a nice straightaway, though. And then I think the starting line is at the end here. Or it's after we go around the corner. Oh, okay. All right, now that we know the, the track, let's see if we can make up some time. Now, can we draft off these boys? Oh, we can jump over the turtles. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's go, first time. <laughs> I really did think that was gonna take a few tries. Ooh, that was a really good time too. Well, that was fun. All right, got that race out of the way. Now I don't have to worry about it. And uh, let's go do some more missions. But which mission shall we do? We got Firefight, Lava Chill Out, Rocky Road, Dennis Dash, Plutonium Panic. This is the one he just mentioned. So I guess we do that one next. What's the blue star? Cause that one's actually closer to us. Dennis, oh, I guess these are both in the same place. Hmm. I mean, we could always do those after. Oh, but they're right here. You know what? Screw it, let's go right here. Instead of driving all the way down the road and then having to come back. Oh yeah, every time we see these guys, gotta make sure we infrarang them. Just look at that. Look at this sneaky little bugger. He's going to punch his, uh, his friend. He disguised himself just so the other guy would be friends with him and then he starts punching him. Whoa, look at these guys. Whoa. Whoa, I don't know what they are, but look at them. They look so flippin' cute. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. All right, where are we going? Over here? Ooh, okay, I remember this area. I remember trying to get up to that point there just to get 200 opals. Not this time around. I'm not about that life this time. I have a much easier way to get 3,000 multiple times in a row if I need to. All right, we got actually a few stars here. What the heck? We got blue, green, and oh, got all of these here. Okay, well, whichever ones we run into first. Oh, we also have a side mission, it looks like. A gray one? Ooh, this music's so good. What's our side mission here we're dealing with? Thank you. Nice. Yeah, what's this gray star right here? Do you guys see that? It looks like there's a thing here. Um, maybe it's all, oh, it's all the way at the top. Okay, I remember what it is. It's a Simon Says mission. That's the only reason why I remembered what it is. <laughs> Holy cow, look at all of those. Invisible crates that have opals in them? Excuse you? Okay, going this way doesn't look like it yields us anything. Like, it's probably bonus stuff or something. Can we go any other way? Oh, maybe that's the only way we can go. Okay, fine. We'll go this way then. We'll take the long way. We gotta play through the entire level to get to our mission wild I'm okay with that we got so many invisible crates but like which ones have frames in them and which ones don't oh hey donuts tree donuts all right if we had the super mega mega rang we'd be able to take out these big boys with it but we don't so we're waiting for our actual mega rain to come back so we can throw lava rangs at them <laughs> I don't know how many times we have to hit them. Maybe like 10 times. I think we're gonna be taking a little detour back by uh, Sly's place at some point. Check out all the other ranks that we have left to purchase from them. It might actually not even be a detour because after we do all the missions here and we go to that next part, we should actually be right next to Sly's place. Okay, jump up here. Smash your ring. 
the predecessor to the Kaboomerang in this game. Ooh, there's so many ways to go. Okay. Go this way first. 20 out of 50. Holy moly. Let me jump over here. Uh, Lacerang. Nailed it. Okay, now how do we get to you? Is it as easy as just jumping? <laughs> I love it. I see the little Billaby down there to our... Oh wait, there's another part to grab onto there. Oh no. I didn't see that part. I saw the Billaby and I just went straight for it. Is there anything important up there? It looks like there's a cog. Is it right here? Is this where we were going before? Oh, this is the cog I saw. I guess we didn't actually have to go back around that point. That's pretty cool. I was gonna run all the way over there and grab onto this thing and swing on over. I see the button. How do I get to you, right? There has to be a way to lower this one so I can jump up to it. Now, taking a look at our mini-map, we actually... Oh, wait, it disappeared for... It was there for a second. We had, uh... Our good old Gubu Steve friend here. Oh, are one of you guys bad? You are, of course. Bam, bam, bam. Is this the button to activate that thing to get that cog? Ooh, it might be. It was. Look at that. This place is like a maze. Yeah, we just jump up here. Oh, I thought we could have actually jumped up there more easily than grabbing onto the edge. Ooh, another section where we can blow up the wall, but we don't have the kaboomerangs. Oh, it's got a jelly donut behind it, too. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're definitely taking a little detour past Sly's place now. Check the price of the kaboomerangs. Check the price of the deadly rangs, which will take out the uber frills way easier than we currently are. So many things to get. We only have 20,000, and I think the deadly ranks are a little bit more expensive than that. Now, I see the donut over here. Can I not just jump to it? Oh, okay. Maybe we can go around the outside and get to it? Oh, there's a lacerang section. Durr. There we go. Three more, and we can unlock something else. Nice. And then, I think over here is the side mission? Yeah, here it is. This is the side mission. This is going to be a fun one, because it's Simon Says, and you guys know how I feel about those. Red, yellow, green. I did it. I beat the game. Red, yellow, blue, green. Red, yellow, blue, green. <laughs> Okay, this one's going to be five. Pink, pink, green, yellow, red. Pink, pink, green, yellow, red. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is that it? Have I won? Are you happy with me? Is that it? Cool. Goodbye. Oh, don't come and eat me. All right, where are we going next? I guess we just continue on down the road. Oh, wait, there's something up there. Is there a way to... Oh, jeez. Is there a way to get over there? Probably, right? 
Let's go in here. Oh, it's our alien friend too. He's there. Oh man, there's so many ways to go. Okay, uh, let's get the blue tongues out of the way. Go up here. Uh, hello, what are you? You know what? I'm not dealing with any of you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, we need the, the, the kaboom booms to get through. Wait a minute. Oh, we can get through them with the smasherangs. I thought we needed the kaboomerangs to do it. Oh, we gotta go back to that other part now and break it open. I thought I should try it with this just in case. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna head backwards in the level then. Actually, it looks like we're going to anyway right here because there's another cog down below. We got that. And then we can do this. <laughs> and then we got a flower here to get us back up there more easily. But I got to go find where I saw that part that I have to smash open. Oh, there you are. There's the fake wall. <laughs> Thank you. One more. All right, let's go talk to our alien friend. Good day, mate. I'm Ty. Hey, Ty. My friends call me Snappy. G'day, Snappy. I said my friends call me Snappy. Uh, okay. So, I uh, hear you have a problem. Yes, my interstellar time cruiser, uh, caravan, has crash-landed on the other side of this hot molten lava and is teetering parallelously close to the edge. The heat shields are already starting to melt. Why would a caravan have heat shields? To stop it burning upon re-entry to Earth's atmosphere, of course! Okay. I'll see if I can help you out. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Doesn't your caravan have uh, super shield things? Uh, also, why is there just a lacerang thing here? Am I supposed to just easily swing all the way over here? Is that what this is supposed to be about if I have these unlocked already? <laughs> Oh crap, I literally thought that was the easiest mission ever and then go and walk into the, the lava right away. How do I get it going? Try kicking it! Uh, okay. What the? Thanks, Ty! See you around like a wristle! <laughs> the car's broken down outside Dusty Burrows, mate. Apparently the spark plug has packed it in. Keith has a spare waiting for you at the Bush Rescue Garage. Swing on by, pick it up, and help get things going again. What an easy mission. All right, let's go backwards along the sides, though, and get all the little bonuses that are waiting for us. So I guess there's like two ways you can do this. You could do it with the frosty rings, or you could do it with the lasso rings. We're getting so many cogs in this level. Holy moly. I guess technically we could also use the bunyip to get over there too. Unless there's like a secret under the lava with the bunyip. That's the only thing I could think of. We got some opals down here. I thought I was going to pick those up a lot smoother than I did. That, that's what I tried to do on the first few. Oh wait, there's like a little secret way over here. Oh, see the bunyip is important and then I think Goobusty's over here. Yeah, there he is. There's the man. How does he get into these weird places? Will you quit following me? I'm trying to keep a low profile. And it's very hard to do with you showing up all the time. For all I know, they could have followed you here. All I want is some peace and quiet. Is that too much to ask for? Is it? Look, if I give you this, you'll promise to leave, okay? Here you go. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough to buy some things from Sly. And by things, I mean just one single thing. All right, let's head on out of here and continue our missions. There's so many missions here. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. There's so many. Now we wanna get up there somehow. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone for now since I cannot figure out how to get up there right now. Uh, oh, hey, it's a lady alien. What's she doing here? G'day, I'm Ty from Bush Rescue. Thanks for coming so quickly. My sister Peppa and I were doing some rock climbing in those hills when a dinosaur scared us and we ran in different directions. 
She's not the best rock climber in the world. I'm worried something may have happened to her. Leave it to me, mate. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, okay. And we also have some things to get in the water while we're over here, so... Might as well get these first. I know I'm probably going to end up falling in the water anyway. But um, for now, that way we don't have to worry about doing anything else when we're down here. And I think we can get these. 3,000 and a button. Ooh. Okay, that was good to get. Now, is this the one where we have to hit these? You can spin them around by hitting them with your ring. Okay, so that's literally what I thought. This is going to make things a little trickier. Focusing a lot here. We got a cog over there and we have that way to go there. So I'm gonna go for the cog first. There we go. And then we will be sure to check out these little koala dudes. Because one of them is not who they say they are, I guarantee it. Ha ha ha. You trying to get one past me? Not today. And I screwed that up, but that's okay. <laughs> oh hey, there's a frame over here. On grab you, thank you. There we go, and then the last one. Boom. Hello? Hi there. What? You know, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. You're Pepper, aren't you? Yeah. Your sister's worried sick about you. Oh my gosh. Pepper, I forgot all about her. I got lost in thought up here with this beautiful scenery. I was supposed to meet her at the campsite ages ago. Well, you better get a move on. I'm out of here. <laughs> I was literally standing in front of her, and yet I still managed to scare her. Cut off the traffic heading into Baramudgee. A young lady by the name of Colleen has gone into labor and needs to get into Baramudgee Hospital ASAP. See what you can do. Oh, that's the mission I thought the boss fight was related to. You guys remember when I said, I'm like, oh, I think we need the lifter. Thing. That's the mission that you need the lifter bunyip for, and I think it's like the only mission maybe that you use the lifter bot or a uh, lifter bunyip. But yeah. Anyway, what was the point of that explodey area there? I don't know. I see the frame way over here, so we're gonna go get that next. Now, is this the mission that we've been trying to do this entire time, the Dennis Dash? I think so. This is what we've been working towards this entire level, all the way up until this point. There he is. Hey, Dennis! Boy! Relax, mate. It's me, Ty. Oh, Ty, are you a sight for sore eyes? Those ghastly beasts won't let me move on. Crikey! Could you be a kind chap and help me out? Uh, no worries. Thank you so much. Be careful, though. They're very strong. Um, yep. We can deal with them. Uh, geez, you're a lot faster in this game, unlike the uh, the last game where you're like, I'm going to hang out back here until you light the path for me. I'm just trying to get into the the bunyip here. Uh, oh, he's, he's getting eaten. He's going to be eaten by whatever this dinosaur is. Get ready for Chelsea to yell at me in the comments because I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know what it looks like. It's super cute, whatever it is. Oh, no. Oh, she's definitely going to have some words with me now. Oh no, they flipping ragdoll. I don't like it. Why? Okay, uh, let's just censor this entire section. How about that? No one needs to see what's happening. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we can destroy the trees too. Oh no. 
We are now the meteor that took out all the dinosaurs. It's happening. Oh, geez, there's so many. To be fair, this is what Dennis wanted. Not what I wanted. Also, if you guys noticed, Dennis was getting beat up and eaten by the, the dinosaur back here, and then suddenly he's fine? What the heck are you doing over here, bud? Here, let me get rid of all your protection. Like, clearing out all these trees. <laughs> I am the cause of global warming alone. Oh, do these trees just come back after a little bit of time? They might. Wow, never mind. They If they respawn that fast, then I am not the cause of global warming. Look at me go. Oh, can't go any further. I gotta go on foot from here. You did it! You took care of those beastly beasts! This just goes to show why we need a local bush rescue office here in the Never Never. Too right, mate! Well, I have to go see Khan about the new office. Toodaloo! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I don't know if this is fair income or not, but we've had another call from Birrell and Squeaver on their film set. They say they're under attack again, and this time it's for real. Now, they could be pulling our leg, but you should check it out just in case. Well, who the heck's giving us these fake calls every single time, hmm? They've been doing it every single time, being like, hey, we need help. Also, all the dinos are back, and there's so many... Do you guys see the three cogs on our screen? Holy moly, I was gonna say there's so many cogs on the screen. But like, look at them. Holy cow. Okay, we gotta do all this? And we have a do jelly donut right there, too? Okay, I can do this. Uh, but first things first, let's break through here. Alright, now do I jump up here and go backwards? It looks like that is the case. Grind rail, let's go. Oh, that's a point to jump over. There we go. Now, where else is it gonna get me to jump over something? Holy moly, this is so fast. Can we, like, slow it down a little bit? Oh, we can. I don't know how we get that frame up there. Worry about that later. <gasps> it's bringing us to a jelly donut. That's 20 out of 30. We can unlock another secret when we're back in town for our little mini map. That's so good. Now, do we hit this button right here? Go, 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 go. Best we can. I think this is for this platform right here. No! There we go. Alright, and then we have an invisible platform right there. Is there anything else? How the heck am I supposed to get to that? Oh wait, there's two platforms right there. I suppose we can jump off of this rope up here and get to the frame up there. Well, there's a bunch of frames over there too. Holy moly, there's so many ways to go. <laughs> I'm getting overwhelmed with stuff and things to get. But we can do the same kind of thing here too with this cog, jump off the side, grab the cog and continue on our way. And we probably can actually do the same here. Oh, we can't jump up here. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Ugh. Wait. Oh. Oh, I tried to save it. Oh, hey, there's a bill of bee back there. Oh, no, there's so many things along this path. Can I go backwards? Oh, we can. Well, well, well. I mean, that's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Oh, one of these guys, definitely a bad dude. Um, ooh, another jelly donut underneath the bridge. Okay, I'm getting distracted by so many things. There's so many things to do down here. Holy moly. Okay, let's go. Get that. Ta-da. Got it while underwater. And on up here, get these four bad boys. Okay, we're in like a new section right here, so allow me to just show off me beating up all these guys with the mega ranks. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to come this far forward yet. Um, I think we gotta maybe press another button to get that to work. But yeah, we're just running back here because I really do want to try and get all the stuff along the way, if we can. I see the invisible crates. 
Oh, look at all those. Holy moly, so many. Okay, I'm thinking we run like over here. But how do I get there? What in the heck? Maybe we go from up here? I don't know if that's the right idea or not. I did figure out that if we hit the platforms in the infrared mode though, it shows them off, so that's cool. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna end up leaving this also behind because I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get over there. So uh, yeah, let's just continue on forward. And uh, starting with actually breaking this little wall that I keep running by over here. Because I keep noticing it and then gotta make sure I get it. Ooh, 30 out of 50. We have a good chunk of those cogs too. Um, hmm, purple bag. I don't think we can get up here. How do we get up to you? Holy moly, there's so many things. There's probably like a button to lower this one down, if I had to guess. Where that button's located, I have no idea. Maybe like on an island, hidden behind some crates? Actually, I think we'd see it down here. Oh, it could be underwater too. Oh no. All right, let's take out these dudes. <laughs> oh, they're so flipping good. Oh, it's Samos Hut from Jack and Daxter. Look at this. Is that what this is in reference to? I don't think so, but what if it was? That would be a pretty cool Easter egg. Oh, there's the button. Oh, oh, there's a button that's not activating the other part, but it activates the other part that I thought I could get to by default. There was just a hidden secret all the way over here. Oh boy, but what about the other part? I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a lacerang part here too. Let me just uh, do this real quick. Thank you. We're getting so many things. This is amazing. Uh, how do I get out of here? Just jump over? Did that mess with these here? No? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a button right there? Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at me finding all of the buttons. All at once, too. Okay, get up here, get this, we'll get the Billaby over there. And then we'll come back over here and grab this purple bag. 3,000, ooh, what's this? <gasps> is this a throwback? If I step on those mushrooms, is it gonna bring me somewhere fancy or is it gonna teleport me back to the beginning of the level? Okay, if it does the beginning of the level, I want to make sure I get this part over here. Because <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to have to run through everything again right now. But that's so cool. If that's like a little Easter egg. Maybe it brings us like somewhere secret with more and more secrets. Yoink. I cannot believe how long I tried to get that, um, that cog. For it to just be a button further in the level. Is there actually anything else this way? It doesn't look like it. Maybe there is nothing else. Maybe those mushrooms do just bring us straight back. Oh, I want to run the mushrooms though. I want to see what happens with them. But yeah, if there's actually nothing else over here. Oh, hmm. I thought the level went further. Hey, maybe those mushrooms are uh, important then. Let's try them out though, just for the good old time's sake. Ooh, transition. Oh, it would have brought me up here to this button. I didn't have to do anything fancy with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that looks like it's everything for this level. Uh, let's see how many things that we collected here. I mean, that's pretty good. We got all of the jelly donuts and all of the other things. We just didn't get all of the frames and we missed one cog and I know exactly where that is. I just don't know how to get to it. Do I try and get it? Uh, we'll run back and maybe I'll find a button or something that will help me get it or something. I don't know. Oh, 
there's a flipping flower? Okay, well. I mean, that's one way to get up here. I... <laughs> I've been looking around all over for a button, and then I find it by accident. Look at that. Look at how sneaky that little flower is. Look at them stats for this level. That's so good. I don't know where these uh, five invisible frames are, but uh, that's something else for me to worry about later. I'm not worrying about that right now. Let's get out of here. All right, holy moly. That was a long level. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but that was a long level. But anyway, I think that's probably a good place to leave it for this episode. So uh, I wanna thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Tie 2 Bush Rescue, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.